Signs your relationship is ending. Are you in a struggling relationship? Do you feel like your relationship is heading towards the end? If you answered yes to either of these questions, then here are eight signs that your relationship is ending, as well as what you can do about it. The end of a relationship is never an easy thing to deal with. No matter how long you've been together or how strong your connection is, it's always a blow when things come to an end. If you're in a long-term relationship, you may one day find yourself wondering, is this it? Maybe you don't feel the same way about your partner as you used to. Maybe you've grown apart and no longer have the same interests. Perhaps you're constantly arguing and nothing seems to be getting resolved. These are all tough questions to answer, but if you're facing them, it may be time to step back and assess your relationship. Now let's discuss sign number one. You no longer share the same interests. When you first enter a relationship, it's natural to share the same interests, but as time goes on, you may find that you and your partner no longer share the same interests. And if you want to make things better, first try to find some common ground. Maybe there are some activities you both used to enjoy that you can do together again, or maybe there are new interests you can both explore together. Second, communication is key. Talk to your partner about how you're feeling and why you think you're growing apart. They may be feeling the same way, and the two of you can figure out a way to overcome this issue together. Third, spending some time apart can be beneficial for your relationship. It's okay to have separate interests, and in fact, it can help you learn more about each other and yourself. It can also help prevent boredom from setting in. Number two, you're constantly arguing. Arguments are a normal part of any relationship, but if they become frequent and unresolved, they can take a toll on both you and your partner. Research has shown that couples who argue more are more likely to break up, and while it may be tempting to try to work through your differences, sometimes it's best just to move on. If you get in this situation daily, it's important to take a step back and evaluate why this is happening. Are you disagreeing on important issues? Do you feel like you're not being heard? Is the fighting getting out of control? It's important to ask yourself if you're compatible. Of course, every relationship is different and many factors can contribute to arguments. Number three, you're keeping secrets from each other. When you're in a relationship, it's important to be open and honest with your partner. Secrets can be harmful to a relationship because they can create a sense of distance between you and your partner. Keeping secrets means that you're not being completely transparent with your partner, which can lead to mistrust and resentment. From a small argument to something much more serious, secrets can be anything. If you are currently in this situation, it means that you're no longer able to be fully yourself with each other. This does not look good for the future of your relationship. Furthermore, if you're in a relationship where secrets are kept, it's important to establish mutual understanding with your partner. Otherwise, those secrets will fester and cause more harm to your relationship. Number four, you don't trust each other. Not trusting each other is a sign that your relationship is leading towards a breakup. If you find yourself or your partner constantly questioning each other's motives or movements, it's a huge red flag that your relationship is on the rocks. Trust is the foundation of any healthy relationship. So if it's gone, there's not much left to salvage. When couples stop trusting each other, it's often because they feel like they're constantly being lied to or kept in the dark. This can lead to feelings of insecurity, jealousy, and resentment. Number five, there's no more talk of the future. There's an old saying that goes, the end is near when people stop talking about the future. And while it may sound like a doom and gloom prophecy, there's a lot of truth to it. When a relationship ends, one of the first things to go is the vision of a shared future. No longer do you and your partner discuss the things you want to do together, the places you want to go, or the life you want to build. There are several reasons why people might stop talking about the future of a relationship. It could be that they're not sure where things are going and don't want to make any assumptions. Or it could be a sign that they're starting to lose interest and don't see a future with the person they're with. Of course, Every relationship is unique, so there might be other factors at play if you and your partner have stopped discussing the future. Number six, you start feeling interested in other people. It's normal to feel attracted to other people even when you're in a committed relationship. 
However, if you find yourself continually fixated on other people and daydreaming about being with them, it could be a sign that your current relationship is winding down. When we're in a relationship, we usually have a strong interest in the other person. We want to know everything about them, their thoughts, feelings, hopes, and dreams. But as time goes on, reality starts to set in and we may begin to realize that they're not quite as perfect as we thought, and that interest starts to fade. We no longer care about what's going on in the other person's life, and we start to withdraw from the relationship. Your relationship might be over if you're not willing to try to make things right with your partner. It's important to share your feelings with your partner and see if there's anything you both can do to make things better. Number seven, you're thinking about cheating. Cheating can be a symptom of a relationship that is dying, and it's often a sign that something is wrong in the relationship. Are you happy with your partner? Do you feel like you're being fulfilled emotionally and sexually? Of course, cheating is not always a sign that the relationship is over. Sometimes people cheat because they're unhappy at the moment or they're feeling neglected. Or maybe they're attracted to someone else and they're curious about what it would be like to act on that attraction. If you're both committed to fixing the problems, then the relationship can be saved. It will take time, patience, and effort, but it can be done. You'll need to communicate openly and honestly with each other and be willing to compromise. Trust and respect are essential, as is a willingness to work together towards a common goal. With commitment and effort, your relationship can be saved. And if not, then it's time to start thinking about ending your current relationship. Cheating is not a healthy way to stay in a relationship, and it will only lead to pain and hurt down the road. Number eight. Physical intimacy is either non-existent or forced. It's no secret that physical intimacy is an important part of a romantic relationship. But what happens when that intimacy starts to fade? Or worse, when it becomes non-existent or forced? There are many reasons why physical intimacy might decline in a relationship. It could be due to stress, busy schedules, or simply a lack of attraction. If you're worried that your relationship is heading down this path, here are a few signs to look out for. You no longer feel attracted to your partner. You avoid being physically close to your partner. You no longer feel the need to be physically intimate with your partner. You feel forced or obligated to be intimate with your partner. You no longer enjoy being intimate with your partner. If you're noticing any of these signs in your relationship, it's important to speak to your partner about it. Maybe you'll come up with a better solution for the relationship. If you find yourself in a relationship that's making you unhappy, it might be time to reevaluate things. Nobody wants to be in a toxic or lifeless relationship. If you observe any of these warning signs mentioned in this video, it might be time to end things and move on. And if you found this video to be helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future videos.